Hey guys, so I had some time to look over other people's videos, obviously Archery Luxury, but in particular, there's another watch dealer I watch in Dallas, and they did go visit the store, and they can confirm that it looks like they've either been kicked out because they didn't pay rent, or they just up and left with the watches, with the money, with the consignment pieces. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we're actually going to see a picture of the door, and you can see that there's no, there's, it's, it wouldn't look like a retail space to sell watches anymore. That being said, you know they have co-branded themselves with a lot of other watch dealers, including Woes of Watch Street, which I think is four guys, I believe, from Dallas, uh, but also with Roman. Roman is one of the largest, larger YouTubers or larger watch sellers. I believe he's located in Pennsylvania or somewhere. So it's not only their brand that is being utterly destroyed. It is the other, it's who they associate with because they're very honest. It's, I can't imagine, you know, the salespeople or Mike, who's head of operations or even Marco, who's a partner who knows what happened, but it's not a good look for the employees. It's not a good look for anyone associated with them because they're going to get flooded with questions of where are they, what's going on. And what I think is problematic is when the Wolves of Watch Street, who in videos, they've appeared in videos, they seem like they're very close friends, they can't get a hold of them. That's very concerning. And clients can't get a hold of them. That would be even more, if I had consigned a piece with them for let's say $50,000, $100,000, and I can't reach them, or I sent the piece to the, their office and their office is shut down and the piece is just kind of floating out there, that would be a real concern. When you operate a business, trust is so important for any business that you're in, but especially on consignment, especially in this business, which is high luxury goods. You're paying, part of what you're paying for is an experience, especially for gray market. And the gray market, I, I feel like this is going to put a very bad stain on everyone they've associated themselves with it's gotten to the point that people have started making videos saying that we're not associated with them and we don't know what happened that's not great and on on top of you know on top of all the crazy things that are happening i i can't imagine i mean they they if they took the money and ran that's pretty interesting i've never seen someone publicly they have a lot of fans on youtube they have a lot of subscribers at this point it cannot be a marketing stunt if it was a marketing stunt they would pick up this guy's phone calls they would pick up client phone calls to assure them that we didn't just up and leave right i mean even a even the most misguided marketing stunt doesn't make sense here because even even doing that, you would still pick up your phone. This is starting to look more and more. And as you know, RC Luxury, who I think I have my own problems with um, in terms of you know <laughs> some of the stuff he says, he was pretty right on this one. So he had said that they were going to do this they were going to collect people's money and then run away and build their reputation so they use roman as they're they're very good at marketing and i would say they're better at marketing than roman was roman now has upped his game with the gray market but that wasn't his initial he he did something called watches and whiskey which no longer exists i don't think he's doing it anymore he's just doing his vlog series called gray market because it gets 10 times, 20 times the amount of views. So Roman used 
Anthony to timepiece gentleman to increase his social media presence. And Anthony used Roman, who I believe has been in business for 20 years and well-respected in the watch industry, to put legitimacy on his company. And it does make Roman look a little bad. It does make Wolves of the Wall Street or Watch Street look a little bad. And even though we can assume they're not associated directly with these individuals, you see them in the videos, you see them collab, you, you see a lot of interaction and that's pretty con concerning. Uh, and it's not only their business that is, gets dragged down. Because they made, they even use the employees' last names. You know all of their employees and their last names. And like Clove May wasn't even an employee, but you knew her last name. You knew her Instagram had. It, I've never seen something where it's so publicly displayed. The collapse of a company. Now running a company, you know, I run a business. I run a marketing agency. And it's not easy to run. And there are times where, yes, it sucks being a boss. But you do it because you have employees. You do it because you have these relationships. Um, I, I, This was a good brand. Should they have spent less money at restaurants? Yeah, they should have. I, I know in the very beginning, Anthony was a lot more humble he would go to a sushi restaurant. He would drive out 40 minutes to go to a sushi restaurant. So if he watches, you know, I've been watching his videos for a long time. And those, and I think uh, Darby, the cameraman, also eats. And the bill is like under $100 for two people, which I think is very reasonable. And then suddenly he's at Nurset eating $17,000 meals. There was a change and there absolutely was a change. And you can kind of see that there's, it looks empty. The Wolves of Watt Street physically have gone there. They made a video where the guy physically goes there and there's nothing there. And you don't want, so you're in a very curious situation here. You, If you are on their videos and they've said your name, probably last and full and last name, the subscribers will try to hold you accountable for their actions. They're going to want to know where did Anthony go? Did Anthony really steal the money? And these questions, it's almost like why many times in NFL play, Ray Rice, for instance, you don't bring him to the locker room because of all the drama he would bring. Even if he was a good enough player, he's not that good. And you don't want the rest of your team just answering these questions that they don't know the answer to, honestly. So like Mike, Mike doesn't seem to know very much of what's going on and I, I think he's going to receive a lot of questions because he's the operations manager and rightfully so but he might have been left out of the dark um, this is just such a fascinating issue and from a marketing perspective so people are talking about from a watch perspective I'm talking about it from a marketing and business perspective they've really ruin their reputation for what I assume. I still think that there's a chance that this is a marketing stunt, uh, a, a poorly, you know, a poorly created marketing stunt, but it's going to, it definitely is going to generate marketing. It's going to generate news articles, which is good for SEO. I could see some value in it. It's not a zero value, but the cost is too much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye guys.